Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today, this video is being done without the presence of Jim. He's outside, he's cooking up some hamburgers for us and he wanted to grill them so he's outside. And I decided, yesterday I waited and waited and waited for him to come in and he was taking forever because he was putting the motorcycle together and he probably wanted to finish it. And it got really late and I thought, well, today's going to be another late day, so I better just get busy and do this without his presence. Although it's more, actually more fun when he's in here. I was um, listening to a bunch of videos, and what had sparked my listening to these videos was I went shopping after I went to the gym. I went to the gym this morning, and I did my exercise, and I did all the machines that I've been taught how to use. Excuse me. <clears throat> And when I went to the store, I hear this, Hi, Mary Grace. And I turn and I look and I, it's like, and it was a girl named Laura. She used to live with me when she was um, 16. She now has a daughter that is 18 or 19. She's graduated from high school. And it's amazing because they're the age I was when they were with me. And, um, she was telling her daughter that she used to live with me and that I wouldn't let her buy boys' underwear. And I said, really? I don't remember that. Well, apparently, she used to like to, she says, yeah, I like to wear the tidy whities and, and she said, and I even showed you in the store. And I said, you did? <laughs> and so apparently she did. I said, my goodness, you remember more than I remember. A lot of the stuff that the kids remember, I don't remember. And that was something that I didn't remember. And then I said to her, did I let you buy the boys' underwear? And she said, yeah, you did. And then she mentioned another girl that we had in the house that really dressed like a boy. In fact, the school had called me. And they thought I had marked, um, you know, where you have to mark male or female. And they thought I marked the wrong box. And I said, no, she's a girl. But she really, really did not act, walk or look like a girl, she looked more like a boy. And she was a great basketball player. My goodness, she could, and she was not very tall. She was just, I think she was five foot, maybe five one. She was real close to my size. But man, she could shoot baskets better than any guy that I had seen. And I remember when her caseworker would come, they used to shoot baskets out on the cement pad with our hoop. We had it um, put up regulations height because I figure if the kid's gonna learn to shoot, they're gonna learn to do it at regulation height. You know how a lot of people will try to make it lower so their kids can make more baskets? Well, my kids had to earn those baskets and the kids that came here had to earn the baskets. Well, this kind of was gonna bring me to my topic, which was gonna talk about transgender community. And I do have a granddaughter that she is in eighth grade and she she is very, I think she's confused right now. I'm not sure. She all of a sudden wants to dress like a boy and act like a boy. She does TikTok videos and she, if you didn't know she was a girl, you'd really think she was a boy. She has her hair cut more to like a boy. She does a lot of mannerisms like the boys. But she was the girliest girl when she was younger. So I don't know if it's a phase that they're going through. It seems like a lot of the eighth graders are, are um, dealing with this. And they are also in the schools are going to make the um, bathrooms that are, I wrote it down because I know Jim's not here to coach me. So I wrote it down that they're making a, a gender, it's called a gender neutral bathroom. And um, they're going to do that at our school. Now, she wanted to change her name, and her mother says, well, it's going to cost you. And she, she was surprised to hear that if you change your name, you've got to go to the courts, and it's going to cost you money. And then my daughter kind of says, well, then where's all the child support that I should have been receiving for this person, you know, and are her, because if, if, you're not my, if you're not my daughter, then where's my daughter, and where's my child support? So, um... And a long time ago, I was. This also was brought it thought to me. A long time ago, when girls were um, acting more like boys, they used to just call us tomboys, and we used to like to climb trees, play with the boys' toys, and um, 
I'll do a lot of the games, play their games, get dirty, and it was okay, but yet let a boy want to play with dolls, which my mother let my brothers play with dolls because she figured it would nurture their um, parenting side of them so that when they had children that they would know um, how to be tender and kind and and help with the, the um, raising of the children. So my brothers actually were allowed to play with dolls and we were allowed to play with boy stuff, which is considered boy stuff. Also, I heard on the news that they're now, the stores are stopping to have gender specific toys. They're just toys. So that the girls that want to play with things that look more like what the boys would have played with can play with them and the boys can play more with the girl stuff. So they're trying to get away with that. And I was watching some TED Talks today and they were talking about that no matter how you change yourself, if you decide that you're a girl that wants to be a boy, you're still categorized by um, your birth certificate. Well, they won't. They don't change that. There's a very there's very few states that will change it, and there's some that will absolutely will not. I don't know what states they are, but they did mention Ohio. It's an absolute no in Ohio. Your Social Security card will always say it. Your driver's license will say that what you were um, at birth and when people have babies the one said don't ask if it's a boy or a girl just ask how's the baby because this way um, children that want to not be what they were classified as have the option of doing that I guess and you know when did you, this, this is a question I was wondering. Okay, when did I find out that I was a girl? How did I find out I was a girl? Did somebody tell me? Or did I just happen to know it? And when did my, I find out what my brothers were? Were they, uh, you know, you wonder. How did we find out that we were a boy or a girl without somebody else saying the words? I, I, I it's like, I don't know. And I know when I was in the school, there was a little boy. He was the cutest little guy. And he wanted to wear um, jewelry. He wanted to push the baby buggy. He wanted to carry a purse. He wanted to have something on his head to make it feel like he had long hair. And I used to let him. And I remember other adults were trying to stop him, which he was. this was his tendencies. He was three years old. He knows what he wants at three, I think. If they're acting that way, that's what they want to do. So just let them, let them play act it out. If they choose to change when they're older, then they choose to change when they're older. I know this subject is kind of, I'm sure a lot of you are going to comment that you're totally against this whole idea, that you're absolutely a boy or you're absolutely a girl. And then there's others, I'm sure, that will agree that or say, not agree, I don't want you to agree with me, don't agree with me, just, you know, speak what you feel from your heart. And like some of you do see tendencies, like there was, um, there's people that you see them when they talk, their mannerisms and things, you say, gosh, they act more like a girl than, the, than a guy. And chances are, they maybe have more girl tendencies or they may have more guy tendencies. I remember a girl in my class, she used to work, walk more manly than the boys in the class. And even to, to this day, she's um, actually retired and she still, to, in my mind, she acts more like a boy than she does a girl. So I guess if the tendencies are there, they're there. And if they're not, they're not. I guess that's my topic for today. But how did you find out you were a boy or a girl? That's a good question. How did we find out? Hmm. It's a good question. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.